All right, so, um, so ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is they're asking us to take this figure and reflect it about the y equals x line. All right? Now, I'm going to go through how to do this a couple different ways, but when you guys are looking at reflecting the y equals x lines, we need to go back into our notes and kind of remember what is it that how do we reflect the x equals y line. So there's a couple points we did, yes? We swap the very we swap our points, correct. So if I had a coordinate point x equals y and I was going to reflect it across the y equals x line, all I simply do now is swap the y and the x coordinates. So by looking at this problem, ladies and gentlemen, what we're gonna do is we want to find our new points. Alright? Now before I go and evaluate the new points, let me just let's just go and graph and take a look at what this uh, image looks like. So I have A, which is at negative 1, 2, 3, up 2. I have B, which is at 0, 1. And then I have C, which is at negative 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. OK, so you guys can see we have a triangle here. Yes? B. Triangle. Good triangle. Now, when we say reflect over the y equals x line, um, a lot of times this be when you're dealing with coordinate points, I wouldn't really recommend this. But what I want you guys to understand is we are reflecting it about this dotted line right here. That is what we call the y equals x line. Okay. It's a linear line with a slope of 1 over 1 and a y-intercept of 0. Okay, when x equals 1, y equals 1. When x equals 2, y equals 2. When x equals 10, y equals 10. All right, that's the y equals x line. But it might be a little difficult for you guys to try to reflect this over this line. So what I preferred a lot to do is follow the rule that I created, or not created, but that we have. If you're reflecting the y equals x line, if you have a coordinate point, you just swap them. So let's go and take a look at what my new points will look like. And do you guys notice how I labeled all my points? Caleb, do you see that? It's really important for you guys to see. I just didn't put points and make figure. I labeled each and every one of these points that I have. Because the reason why is when I apply my transformation, I need to call those new points. So I'm going to call them A prime. And the new coordinates is going to be 2 comma negative 3. Terrell, do you see how I just swapped them? Just took them and swapped them. Okay. Because that's the rule. B prime is 1 comma 0. C prime is negative 3 comma negative 2. All right. So all I'm simply doing is just switching them around, Jake, so I can do this. Because I thought you were taking the test. You're not taking the test today? Huh? Oh, OK. Well, that's a good idea. So, um, so let's go ahead and now plot my new points. So now a prime is at 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. I have b is at 1, comma 0. And c is at negative 3, negative 2. Or negative 3, negative 2. OK. So if you guys look at my figure, do you guys kind of see how that green image, which is now my reflected image, has been reflected over that red dotted line, which we call the y equals x line? OK. So this rule works. If I ask you to reflect something over the y equals x line, that's what you need to apply. OK. Very good. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I do not.